Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Tim Tonaro and I'm doing a video. Let me see, let me plug in my audio first. Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Tim Tonaro and I'm doing a video on um, how to use FREP, which is this lovely program here I've labeled as money, to um, to automate tasks such as Cheetah Keyboard. So let me go ahead and open it up here. Um, go to Open Apps, FREP, here we go. And I'll go to Manage Traces. Now, there's a separate tutorial that I'm not going to go into as far as how to connect it. It can be a bit of a pain in the rear end, but, you know, make it do what it do. It works once you finally set it up and hope to God you don't have to reboot your phone because it could be a real pain to get it to work again. Anyway, the money is just for the videos and the spins is for this daily spins. So I'll click on it and go to edit so I can share with you guys. So step one, I have it waiting 15 seconds before it starts. Step two, and, and then it goes to step two on end. I mean, I'll show it so you can see on finish, go to two. And then on step two, it hits the home button, and then it waits five seconds, and then it kills the app, cheated keyboard. Excuse me, then it waits seven seconds, then it launches the app, then it waits 15 seconds, then it looks for the particular cash. On this phone, it's labeled as money bags, but on some phones, it's labeled as like a little yellow or blue coin. So it just depends on the phone as far as what picture it's looking for. And I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. And then um, timeout 10 seconds. And then I have it set to when it finds the image, tap it right in the middle on center on success. If it fails, it'll go back to waiting. If it doesn't, it'll go back to... Well, I should probably put this on step 9, which is... Or, I'm sorry, step... Let me see. This is step 8, so I need to put on step 6. Because if it's if it's not seeing the cache icon, something's not right. So, it needs to go back to launching it if it fails. Okay, there we go. Because it might not be launched. Um, anywho... Wait 20 seconds after it clicks it, and then it looks for it again, the go button. The, this is the go button that where you tap go to play videos. It's going to wait 15 seconds, and then after the 15 seconds, it's going to go to and look for it again. And that way, in case you tap it once and it says failed, then it's going to look for it and try to tap it again. Anyway, I'm going to tell this one, since this is step 11, I'm going to tell it on finish to go to step 12. Click apply. Okay, there we go. Um, timeout, 10 seconds. It's going to look for it again, and then it's going to wait 45 seconds. It's going to hit the back key. It's going to wait 15 seconds. It's going to push the back key again. So it'll go back to the main videos where it's got the countdown. It's going to wait 250 seconds, which is 4 minutes and 10 seconds. And then after that, it's going to loop back. I have it set to go to next, which essentially loops it. So you go to next. And then... If you look under repeat, I've got it set to a bunch of nines anywhere. And let me see. As is interrupt. So let me just untap these though and then I'll click apply. Okay, save this because I edited one of the small settings there. All right, so save it again, go back, save. Okay, so now I'm going to run this for a whole five minutes just so you guys can see it run twice. So again, this I just named it money. You can name it whatever you like. I'm going to hit play. Just give it a couple seconds. It's going to wait 15 seconds. And I have it set to where it shows the seconds every single command it's running. That way, if it stops, you'll know where, where and why it's stopping. Okay, so it's going to wait. It's going to kill. It's going to hit the home button. Wait five seconds then it's gonna kill the app then it's gonna wait seven seconds <sighs> now it's gonna launch the app and wait 15 seconds for it to open all the way so while this is loading I'm gonna see let's see yeah it's saying that it's running and it's recording but of course because that's how you guys will see this it's going to wait for the cash bag, which it sees the cash bag. It's going to tap it. Tap, tap. I'm not going to tap it. My hands are off the screen. 
See, and look, now it's going to wait for the go, but it's not going to see the go. I'm just going to tap it just so you guys can see. Okay, there we go. So, it's the go is for the watch video. So give it a couple seconds. And if you update this app, you'll see cache typing. That's a new feature. If you're on the old version of the app, you won't see the cache typing, but you will see the watch a video. And the watch a video for $9 a day is only for that rate, I believe, in the U.S. and Canada. I don't believe it's the same rate for, um, for Mexico or for any other state or country. So, for example, if you're in, like, Australia, China, Europe... Pretty much anywhere else in the world besides North America, you're screwed. I mean, you can still use a VPN and use um, and change the time zone to Eastern, but again, that comes with a bit of risk because I don't know what their policy is on that. So, I mean, I don't know anybody that's been banned for it, and I've actually advised a couple of people to try it and see, but we'll see, you know. Anyway, as you can see, it's waiting. 10 seconds or 15 or whatever and then it's going to try to tap the wait watch a video go button so you see it'll say wait image go just give it a sec it's going to screenshot okay it tried to hit the back button but what it was supposed to do i don't know why it's misbehaving now all of a sudden anyway let me try to open this cheetah app and i'm going to pause it normally this thing runs pretty automatically cash Okay, I think it was because I didn't open it quick enough, or I interrupted it somehow. Anyway, it's going to watch the video, and then once the video starts playing, I'm going to resume this timer here. Just turn this volume down a little. There we go. Hope you guys can still hear me. So, it was supposed to wait, hit back, wait, hit back. But instead, it's just watching the video. So it'll still work. It just won't work the same as if it were to hit back twice and you see the countdown timer. Instead, now you're seeing the countdown timer first. So you, it is safe to hit back to check on it. Make sure you get your coins and then hit back again. Because if you don't hit back at least once, you're not going to get those coins and the countdown timer is not going to start again. So you do want to have that automated. Anywho, um, I've got 3 minutes and 42 seconds. While I'm waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead. I've got a minute and 30 seconds left on my other phone. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my camera app and share the, the feed for the other phone so that I can show you that it's still running autonomous, autonomously. rather. And if you have an issue with the phone like not being activated or being like bad serial number or whatever bad ESN, then in that case you want to put the phone in airplane mode but you want to turn on Wi-Fi and turn on location that way you still get the ads and you still have data anyway I'm gonna close out of this stupid notification okay there we go now let me hit home and again I've got it set to where it can use it from any location any app so it's not gonna wait for the app to close and to reopen it's gonna do its own thing so anyways without further ado let me go to camera here so that you guys can see and you can see this is the S3 that I have here pretty decent setup sorry about the lighting though that's not the best lighting okay there we go and as you can see 2847 can't really see it too well though I'll see if I could focus a little bit better yeah and you can see it's got about 10 seconds left You'll see here in a second when I focus it. Hopefully. Three, two, one, zero. And then the go button shows up. And then you can see here. It's got nine seconds left. I'm gonna click the skip button right here. Sorry, my finger's so big. And it's gonna skip to the next part where it waits 15 seconds. I'm gonna skip it again. And then it's going to hit the home button just like it normally would. See? it's It, it went home. Now it's going to um, wait however many seconds. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, the waiting just started. There we go. Four, three, 
two, one, zero, and then it's going to wait 15 seconds for the app to start. And in this particular phone, it has a gold coin that I was talking about. Instead of having a uh, money bags, it's a gold coin icon. And the only reason why it's so blurry is because I have it set to magnify. So if I just put it closer manually, it should be a little bit clearer. And when you click on it, it has like little stars around it. And then you see it's 2847. So once this thing, it's going to wait. Three, two, one. And then it's going to wait for the go. It's going to tap go. Coins will be generated upon, uh, will be earned after sponsor content. So there's just some stupid, you know, 25 second ad for, uh, for Lucky Day. And don't get me wrong, Lucky Day is a good app. I can attest to that. I actually got two prizes from them already for free. Didn't pay, didn't cost me a penny. And I'll share one of those here in a second. I'll show you guys a picture or actual image of it. And then the other one I've already given away to a friend, so I can't exactly show that, but you know. Oof, 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 sorry about that. That was some random text, don't worry about that. Anyway, this is the spoon. It's a coffee stirring spoon, very nice. I got it from Lucky Day, it's one of their $3 or $3 million um, token um, prizes. So as you can see, just give it a second. Okay, I'm sorry. It has closed in the process of it making coins, so we'll just give this some time so that it can continue recording. But it was in the process of recording when it when it happened. See now it's gonna wait for cash. It's gonna try to tap it after ten seconds. So I'm just gonna pause this other one so that I could show it to you once it's finished. Twelve thirty eight thirty five. And then it's going to tap the go, so just give it a second, okay. Now it says waiting. Waiting 15 seconds, and then it's going to check again to see if the go thing is there. Because if it failed, the go thing would be there. If not, it would be there and it would continue like nothing happened. So, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so I still have 40 seconds left. I'm just going to hit the skip button just to show you guys how it works. And then it's going to hit the back button next. See, so it hit the back button. 25,000 coins. Now it's going to wait 10 seconds and hit the back button again. So I'll wait so that you guys can see the balance is updated. Three, two, one, zero. It's gonna hit the back a second time. See, back successful, money wait. Now it's waiting four minutes and 10 seconds. And again, the timer is at three and a half second or minutes. So it does give a bit of extra time, not only to for anti-ban, but also just to give it enough time without it crashing or without it, you know, having any issues outside of the app running. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to open up my camera app again. If I can find it, here it is. And while this thing is running, okay. You see, it hit the back button once and I pause it because I wanted you guys to see 25,000 coins earned. Now this isn't the same amount of coins for everybody. You only get 25,000 if you're in the U.S. or North America. So I'm going to unpause it. I'm going to tap on a little wait button here. And then it's going to continue two, one, zero. It's going to hit back and it'll say back successful or successful back. And as you can see now it's 28, 49.5. Each time you spin it, if you're in North America at least, you get two and a half cents or 25,000 coins. And it spin is every four minutes. So even though this timer only says a minute and a half because I had to do the other timer to show you guys that it worked before I could switch over to this other device. So... Anyway, that's just so you know, you know, what it looks like and that it actually works and that I'm using the same script on both of them. The only thing I had to edit, the Samsung S3, the one that I showed on the camera app, that one has an actual 1280 screen. This one I'm using now is a 480 screen, so big difference in resolution. Anyway, while I'm waiting on that um, thing, 
that timer script on FREP, I'll show you guys on how to make a script or how to edit one. And again, anytime you open FREP, it will stop the FREP or Google Play, it'll stop it automatically because those are considered non like apps that you can't run while you're running FREP. So, anyways, money spins. So, I'll show you guys the money one. And I'm not going to save it this time, but I'll show you how I made the part where it waits for cash and the part where it waits for go. So you just go to add, the little plus icon, and then you go for image, screenshot, area, match. From file, now you need to take a screenshot of where it is in the part where you want it to match before it'll work. So you just go through these screenshots and kind of see, um, I think it was... The 20th that I had set this up, if I'm not mistaken. No, that has the cash with the sparkles already good. And it doesn't have the part with the go, so that's not it. Um, 31st, maybe? No, that has the... No, that's not up to date either. Shoot. Um, let me see. Thirty-one. Oh yeah, duh. It's not seven. It's not July. It's August. Okay. That is twenty, twenty, twenty. Okay. This is what it looks like when it opens. So that bottom cache thing. This is how it works. You just so say you wanted to find the cache. Cache is always going to be in the same spot. But like I said, in each device, that the um the image is going to be different as well as the um. Oh, what's that thing called? As well as the area of the screen or the coordinates. So you just click apply and it's going to use this as an image or as a screen. You can move your little box over here in the corner until you get the right size that you need. And then you can move it further to the corner to get a little smaller. You see what I'm doing? And you move it up and over to where it shows the cache. And just move it over a little bit up and over more. There you go. So it's centered. And then you just click apply and it's going to look for the cash bag. And then you have it set to where exact match takes screenshot. So that way it, um, it'll automatically screenshot it to make sure that it's on the screen before it tries to tap it. Tap center on success. You want to tap that until it checks. Make sure to untap skip next wait or it'll screw up. Uh, and it won't wait the seconds that it's supposed to. And make sure show console to skip or show console to wait is always checked. That way you always know what step you're on. Oh, whatever. So it'll tell you the size of the window, the size of the coordinates. And you just click apply. And as you'll see at the very bottom, you'll have wait, cache, 10 seconds, tap screenshot. I'm going to go ahead and delete this just because I already have mine on here. That was just to show you guys. So for example, I also have it wait for the for the screenshot. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that one too. Go to wait image from file, and this is for the go. And give it a couple seconds, okay. What day is today? Is the 29th of August. Hmm. No, that's not it. Oh, come on now. 8.24. I think that, yeah, this one has a check for the cache. See, it says cache typing. It has a little slide. Now, this one I had the FREP running, so I did take a screenshot of FREP, but that doesn't matter because it's not in the way of what we needed to see. So you just click apply to, to use this as your screenshot. And then you gotta move it to the area where the watch a video is. So what I would suggest again, drag it to the bottom right corner until you got approximately the size and shape of the go button, like about here I would say. And then tap in the middle and drag it up to where it says watch a video. Make sure it's centered and it's not on the edge of the thing so that it's not, sh not you know what I mean, not to where it won't work and then 
if you need to move the bottom up you can use these little sliders at the top see they go left right just by hitting plus and minus this one goes further up further down further right further left so you can kind of adjust it like that hit the minus on the very far to bring it up from the bottom there and then that's a good match so we just click apply and then make sure to untap skip and tap tap center on success keep tapping it until it shows because sometimes when you tap it once it doesn't do it okay and then also anytime you do a step make sure on success it goes to the actual next step and not just next so in other words say this is step number 10 on next or on success it should go to 11 it's just an example on fail out it should go to this part before that or maybe a couple ones before that and also make sure show console to skip is on there so again I'm gonna delete this one too just because it I was just showing you how to do it and then I'll save it back save and yeah so anytime I want to make money by the videos all I have to do is tap the thing now I'll show you quickly what the um, how the spins one works and how I have it set up it's not a perfect way to set it up but it's how I chose to set it up so anyway without further ado um, first of all we need to open up the app that we're going to be making money with for example cheetah go to cash click on play cash wheel the little gold go button and then if you tap this thing once it'll switch it from your first recording to second so my second is spins and I have it set to 30 that way when you tap it once it'll do the first 30 and then you can cash out the first two prizes tap it again it'll get the second prize and then tap it again and then do the last 10 manually and you'll get your last and final prize which you know is different it's one cent five cent eight cent and ten cent in the u.s. it's different for different areas so i'm going to hit the start button it's going to wait five seconds it's going to tap in the center of go on success and then it's not going to skip the next timer it will actually wait so it's waiting about 10 seconds i think is a magic number for me and then it's going to see the app it's going to hit the back button automatically i'm not i didn't touch it see it says successful back one out of 30 spins starting so it's going to wait five more seconds for the go to appear it's going to tap it and then it's going to start spinning again and then it'll wait 10 seconds again so 10 seconds in the in the thing and five seconds in the beginning and a half a second to tap it and so it ends up being 15.5 seconds per spin it's like a really perfect you know number so I'll leave it for 30 spins just so that you guys can see that this is legit and that it works so it's gonna tap the center just give it a second there we go tap wait image spinning ads and I and you can name it whatever you want I just called it ads because if, if you get the prize instead of the gold it'll show an ad like this one for example and again I just muted this ad because I don't like audio on the ads but I will go ahead and turn up the audio just to make sure it's working okay there we go so it uh, should tap the go if it doesn't see go and it doesn't tap it I have it set to wait again so it's tapped go on its own I didn't touch that I just brought the volume mixer down to make sure the volume was working and, it, and again I'm gonna mute this ad it's safe to touch it in certain spots while it's running it automatically hit the back and now it's starting for spin number five I believe it's gonna tap in the middle and then once it gets done spinning it'll say 95 remaining so you'll be able to track it like that now once it says 95 what you can do I'll show you here in a second see it says 95 now this ads gonna come up it's gonna out of, it's okay to exit out of it early if it's a spin ad see repeating spin starting in five seconds okay now it didn't hit the back automatically for whatever reason I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna tap this little five coin thingy and it's gonna give me a penny yay penny tap OK tap OK alright so we'll wait a couple seconds until the thing starts moving and then hit the unpause button I always pause it every time I get a chest because if you don't do that um, it's a good chance that the ad or that the chest will not like it'll say failed to get coins and you'll never get those coins oh shoot see what I did there I tapped the OK button instead of waiting for it so now instead of 
it still hit the back button, but it was waiting to hit the back button on its own, and I wasn't supposed to tap the OK button in the middle. So that's what happens if you do that. Just tap the the watch or spin wheel again as quick as you can, so that way it doesn't miss anything. Seeing now it's down to one second, it's going to hit the back button on its own. Successful back spin starting in five seconds, and then it's going to tap it it's within ten seconds when it notices. Excuse me. And you see it didn't tap it, so you have to tap it. You have to babysit it when it's doing the spins, because sometimes it doesn't always do it. See, it just got a video ad, so it's going to tap it. See, starting. But it didn't tap the back, so it's it's not... 100% accurate. I guess I could add a like another two seconds in the beginning and another probably three seconds at the end just to kind of even it out or two and a half to each but I don't have too much time to just mess around with it. It's a lot easier just to keep it on what it is right now and then just let it do its spins in the background while I'm doing things like playing games, checking my email, sipping my coffee, you know, whatever people normally do nowadays. So right now it's waiting on image go and then it's tapping in center go. Okay, and I just got a tenth of a penny. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Three, two, one, zero. It's gonna tap. So we're already at ten spins so far. It's gonna. It should tap in the middle here in a second. Okay, there we go. Spinning ads. And it is actually going to be an ad this time. Sometimes it's video ads. Sometimes it's just text ads like a website with an X. So it's not always as easy to tell what kind of ad you're going to get because it's pretty random. Once they run out of video ads, though, they'll just spam you with a bunch of text ads like things saying click here to install PayPal. But it's not actually video. It's just a picture with text on it. Three, two, one, zero. And it's going to hit the back button. Should at least. Okay, there we go. Successful back, starting. Three, two, one, starting, go. So we'll just let this get to 70 spins remaining, which would mean that it would have completed its 30 spins semi on its own. Again, you do have to babysit this a little because sometimes it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. So just give this thing a second. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting its spin. Now this thing here, this is a video. It's going to just watch however long of the video it can, and then it's going to hit the back button. Hmm. Okay, 86. So, yeah, like I said, once it gets down to 70... Spins remaining. It'll be doing its thing pretty well. It's already 7 o'clock. Wow. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Skip successful. Or back successful. I'm sorry. 3, 2, 1, 0. Waiting on image go. Step 2. The 2 on the right is the step number. So step 2 is waiting and clicking on go. Step three is waiting for the ads. It's just a delay timer. It's going to hit the back button here in a second on Killy or on the video for Killy. I don't even know what Killy is. All right, so it's going to tap in the center within 10 seconds. And I got coins that time. About three and a half tenths of a cent. So if you get three of those, it's like getting a penny. Because every 10,000 coins is equal to a penny. Okay. It's going to hit the back button. It should hit it automatically. Yep. Successful back starting.
Okay. And, oh, okay, see, FRAP is stopped. So I'm going to hit Open App again. Sometimes, it, it's never done this to me before, but I think it's just because I was recording. So I'm just going to finish this spins out manually, and then I'll show you guys on my camera app on how to connect it, I guess. Oh, see, look, it loaded back automatically. So the spins thing, I guess it can crash it. I've never had it crash with the money before, but the spins, I guess it can. So I'm just going to do these spins manually for the rest of the today. And then I'm just, I don't normally even do the spins, but it's a good opportunity for getting more money. Instead of having to wait four minutes to get, um, yeah, four minutes to get two, uh, two and a half cents, you could potentially within not too many minutes, at least within like five minutes, you could easily get. Uh, like anywhere from 30 to 60 cents, so it's a good boost or a bonus. Anyway, that was just a video ad, so I'm hitting back and starting it again. You'd only want to skip the videos on the, um, what's it called, on the cash wheel, not on the actual videos. And also, if you find the video interesting, don't feel bad about watching it because... You might learn something. It might be an app about making money. It might be an app about learning a language or something useful, you know. You never know. It might be a interesting or useful ad. So you never know. Anyways, I just got four more spins. And I'll show you guys the second chest, which is five cents for me. Because I'm in the U.S. Okay, three, two, one, zero. Just hit back. I could have hit back before the timer, but sometimes I like to give them the benefit of the doubt and just play their little game for a bit, so. Prize, video, blah, blah, hit back, go. Okay, so we got one more spin left after this. We're gonna hit back, hit start or go. And by the time it gets done spinning, it'll change to 70, and our chest will start rocking back and forth. So, we'll tap this chest. That should give us a nice little 5 cent bonus. Okay. So that's the spins, and that's the, the essence of the money. I'll be sharing this uh, upload, this... Um, video as well as the um the money what's this money thing the script that i'm using for frep on the mr e cash society forum or i'm sorry mr e cash society discord so if you guys haven't already i'll put the discord link as well as a link to his channel please subscribe to him as well as um join the discord if you need any help or if you'd like to chat there's normally always somebody on that's willing to chat myself included of course so before I upload this video, oh and yes, in case you're wondering, I did actually buy the FREP unlock key, so uh, it was only $4 and it was a very worthwhile investment. Because if you, ha if you buy a bunch of the same phones, you can actually save the script to your phone and you can upload it to all your other phones. The only reason why it would be different is if the phone was a different model or if it had a different picture or a different screen resolution. So that's the only thing about FRAP. It goes based off the revol bleh, resolution. So I'm going to go on FRAP here, go to my money script, and click process, and then click thing. And then I'm going to do export database. You do import if you're going to import it, export if you're going to export it, if you're sharing it. I'm going to optimize it first. No, actually, no, I'm not going to optimize it. I'm just going to save it. I'm going to check it again, and then I'm going to do export. And I'm going to export this into my main folder and call it records and click export. I'm not going to put a password on it. Each time it spins, it takes 388.5 seconds. So that's just so you know. I only make about seven to eight dollars a day with it, but that's just because of how I have it set to, to for it to be automated and to not crash and to not lag and not stop in between. So you know, it's just choices. 
Anywho, like I was saying, I'll open up my Discord and share with you guys the Mr. Ecash um, Discord because this is where I like to hang out and where I get most of my um, most of my good ideas from. And I'm not gonna lie, I was actually the one that shared with him the idea for the Cheetah Keyboard app, the one that I'm posting the Fret for. So here's Fret. I'm gonna post. Okay, no, not picture. I'm going to post little thing file. And, and somewhere in here I need to find the thing that I used. Um, where is it? No, it's not on here. Great. Photo file. Oof. Uh, keyboard, no. No, that's the cheated keyboard. Add file. Oof. Well... The file's here somewhere. Yeah, .frepdb. So I need to go into... .frepdb. Records.frepdb. I guess I'll have to do this for my computer. So don't worry about it. I'll just upload this to my computer. I'll just send myself an email real quick. And attach it. So let me go to my Gmail. And I'm going to go ahead and pause or end the video here so i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like comment subscribe again don't also forget don't forget to um subscribe and turn on notifications for mr ecash society because it's an awesome society i'm proud to be a member of as well as to join the discord if you need any help or if you'd like to be a involved member of the community so yeah enjoy guys deuces